Hi writers, so I'm coming to you for my living room. We are moving in one week, but I just wanted to do a short video for you about NaNoWriMo because it's coming up and November, all my videos are going to be about National Novel Writing Month. So let's get started. But before we do, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll get notified every week when I post a new video. Today, I'm talking about how to be successful in NaNoWriMo. I have done NaNoWriMo every year for the past 13 years, with the exception of 2011 because I was working as a creator or co-creator of a television show and I had just moved back to Los Angeles from Seattle and I simply did not have the time to do it. Now, there are a few different ways to be successful in NaNoWriMo. One way to be successful at NaNoWriMo is to plan in advance for it. Now, there are a lot of different ways to do this. There are a lot of writing coaches that set up programs for it, or you can do it in a group. And I even believe that on the NaNoWriMo website, there are things about being organized in advance. I tend not to do that. It's really up to you. You can do it any way that you like. You can either pants it out, which is what I do, because when I first heard about NaNoWriMo, I was told that you couldn't have anything, not even a title, and I started on November 1st with barely an idea, and I wrote that novel. That novel was my third novel to be published, my second novel under a pen name that I wrote under for a while, and it was pretty fun, and I loved doing it, and I, what I did is I met with a friend of mine every day at Starbucks, and we talked about our storyline, and then we went home and we wrote. My goal during that time, I think was 2,500, maybe 3,000 words a day. The idea was that I would finish by Thanksgiving and then have an extra week just to sort of look over it, but realistically, you cannot revise a novel in a week, and I was a lot newer then. Um, <laughs> I was beginning my novel writing career. I'd only been doing it for a few years, so I didn't know as much then as I do now. Some tips that I'm going to give you are, one is organize however you want to. There are no rules. You can do this any way that you want. You can outline it or you cannot outline it. It doesn't matter. If you are starting November 1st with an absolute blank slate, that's fine. Just sit down every single day and write. Tip number two is to sit down every day and write. Now, there are a lot of people that need to have a schedule in order to get this done, and then there's people like me that are doing so many different things all the time that I just make sure to get an hour in. Now, when I was working full-time in 2009 in an animation studio here in California, and I was also applying for the ABC TV Writing Fellowship, and I had gotten a little bit further in the round, so I had to come up with a TV script, a spec script that month, and I also was working full-time. So for me, I had to get up an hour early every day to get my NaNoWriMo work done. And I did, I was really diligent about setting that schedule and sticking to it. But honestly, all the other years that I have done it, I have just sort of sat down in the morning at some point before noon and written for at least two hours. It is difficult. I'm not going to lie and say that it's easy, but you can do it. You just have to make the commitment to write every single day. Tip number three is to set a word count. So traditional novels start at 70,000 words. In the publishing industry, that is sort of the standard, 70,000 to 100,000 words. In young adult and middle grade, it's 40 to 60,000. Now Rimo is 50,000 words, so people can achieve it. You can write whatever you want. I suggest keeping it between 50 and 70,000 words to, to have a number that you can reach. I think anything over 70, Maybe up to 80,000 is a little hard to do in a month, but you do whatever you want. Figure out that number, divide it by 30, and figure out how many, you, how many words a day that you are going to write. And no matter how good or bad those words are, just hit that number every single day. You can do it. If you are literally just writing, it does not take that long, if you are a writer, to hit... 2,500, 3,000 words a day. Tip number four is to set an end date. NaNoWriMo ends at the end of November, but I usually aim for Thanksgiving. This year, I believe that Thanksgiving is the last week in November, so it might be 
closer to the end, but that's just the way I do it. I have an end date in mind and I hit those numbers that way. Tip number five is if you have a writing buddy, meet with that person, meet with them online, talk to them on the phone, go to a Starbucks or whatever your local cafe is that you like, go to a bookstore, whatever you want, meet with them a few times a week, if not every day. That was so great when I did that with my friend Morella in 2006. We had such a blast, but if you can't meet with them every day, try to meet with them a few times a week and just talk about the process because it really helps because it'll inspire you your friends doing it you're doing it you can be accountable to each other and it's a great way to get it done Tip number six is do not edit under any circumstances do not edit do not worry about the words you're using do not worry about sentence structure do not edit just write. I know that it's hard I understand we are writers most of us are perfectionists and we want to write an amazing book well you are doing a full novel in 30 days it is not going to be amazing and that's okay what you are concentrating on during NaNoWriMo is your story concentrate on the story if you have an idea of something that you really really want to change if it was me I would just make a note of it somewhere keep it on your computer keep it in Scrivener if you're using that whatever it is but do not go back and edit because that is what will stop you from finishing your novel tip number seven is remember this is fun this is a fun thing to do it's a great challenge it's a great way to get a first draft out or even a revision if you're like rewriting the entire story I don't recommend it for massive revisions like editing or words sentence structure um, cutting out filler words I don't recommend it for that because you'll get too bogged down I recommend this for first drafts or rewriting a draft I a couple years ago rewrote a book from beginning to end because I had changed so much stuff when I went through and was plotting replotting it that I needed to just redraft it out so I use NaNoWriMo for that but usually I do a first draft of a brand new novel tip number eight is not to compare yourself with other people do not compare yourself if you log into NaNoWriMo and you see that your buddy has hit 50,000 words by November 14th send them a congratulations and that's it if you were at 4,000 words and they are at 14,000 or 50,000 that's okay do not compare yourself because then you'll start feeling bad and if you start feeling bad then you're not going to want to write so it's really important that you don't compare yourself I hope this was helpful I'm so excited about NaNoWriMo I absolutely love it November is a very busy month for most of us because oh my god Thanksgiving's coming and Christmas is right around the corner but I know that you can do it we can do it together if you want to be my buddy on NaNoWriMo my name is Steph New York just spelled out just like that Steph New York find me add me as a buddy and I will go through and try to accept everybody and add everybody myself so we can stay in contact you can also comment here on YouTube I get notifications so we can keep the conversation going as long as you want you can find me on Instagram under Steph Olivieri Bourbon there is a Facebook story con shares group that I encourage you to join I will put the link in the description so you can join that we can talk about it I am on Facebook I have a author page and a personal page and I'm also on Twitter so we can talk about it. I can help you finish it because I like I said I've done it for many years I love NaNoWriMo I always finish there has not been one year that I haven't finished and I'm not bragging I'm just telling you now only one novel that I have written during NaNoWriMo has been published the others have not been I've been either revising them or I've just not even tried to publish them but it's just such a great exercise and I absolutely love it it really inspires me and I hope it inspires you thank you so much and I will see you next week bye